Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you the Toradex Calibri update tool. The update tool is part of the Calibri BSP and you can find in the start menu programs Calibri tools update tool. The update tool consists of three regions, the flash registry section, bootloader image update section and the restart section with warm and cold boot. In a flash registry there is a save and a clear button. The save button is able to save the active loaded registry on the running system into the flash. That means next time you start up the, the system this same registry is loaded again with all the settings you made before the save. The clear registry button is there to clear a flash registry that it was pre previously loaded into the flash. The next section is the warm boot and cold boot section. Sometimes it's really useful to test some, re some registry settings without saving them because you're not sure whether they work or not. So just change all the values in the registry. You, you can also save some files in the RAM and then just perform the warm boot. This means all the settings in the RAM, they just are as they are before warm boot and then you can test what happens when rebooting the system with the warm boot. Then the opposite, almost the opposite, is the cold boot. This is a real reset and all the changes in the RAM are lost with the cold boot. The last section and maybe the most interesting section is the update backup section. First we have the version info tool. This just shows you the current running Windows C version as well as the bootloader version stored in Flash. The next button is the update button. You can update your system to the newest bootloader or Windows C image downloaded from the Tordex website. Or you just load the Windows C image built by yourself on the Colibri by using the update button of the update tool. Select your file and follow the instructions. I'm going to show you this later on. When you set up a system, for example, you change the registry, set the custom splash screen, or added some files and tools to the internal flash storage, you want to have all these settings on all your Colibris in your production lot. That's where the backup functionality of the update tool comes into play. You'll see all the sections and regions of your system, the bootloader, the config block, the operating system, the registry, and the flash file system. If you click on a region, you see the current start length and the used bytes of a region. The used bytes of the registry region is zero at the moment because we didn't save any changes by pressing the save registry button so far. As an example, I'm going to show you a system backup with a system where I created two partitions and added some files. And I'll also change the registry. Therefore, I just hide the clock in the status bar in the right bottom corner. OK, the clock's gone now. When I take a look at the registry used bytes, it's still zero bytes. That's the case because we didn't save the registry yet. So let's do that. OK, successful. Now the used bytes increase to approximately 110k bytes. Now I select all the regions I want to have in my master backup. By the way, it's not allowed to select regions that aren't contiguous. There is an error message right here. So just select contiguous regions as I do here. You can do this by using shift or the control key of your keyboard. This gives us a master image of about 22 megabytes. Then do the backup. Select the file name and location. It's faster to select a destination in the RAM than on a USB stick. You can copy it later to the USB stick. OK, done. And the backup file appears in the background. It's about 22 megabytes as we expected. Now I copy it to the USB stick.
Now I'm going to restore the system configuration I just stored. For a demonstration, I clear the registry and delete the file on the first partition. Then I make a restart with the cold boot button. After the restart, we see the clock again and, of course, the flash disk is still empty. Now I copy the file from the USB stick to the RAM file system. But that's not necessary, it's just a little bit faster. Then we open the update tool again. Press update and select the backup file in the root folder. First, the file gets validated and the regions to be overwritten are displayed. That's ok in our case, so we just press yes. All the regions are restored. After the restore, we have to restart the system to load the restarted the restored settings. For example, the flash file system which disappeared after the restore. After the reboot, we don't see the clock anymore and the file on the flash disk is present again. For the production, it might be quite useful to automate the whole restore procedure. The update tool is also a command line tool. You'll find a description on our wiki, that's wiki.tordex.com. The update tool is located in the Windows folder. It's called update.exe. I create a shortcut, therefore I copy the tool, create an auto run folder on the USB stick. For more information about auto run visit our wiki. I insert the tool as a shortcut and add the command line parameter slash u which means unattended so I don't get bothered by the user messages we saw before. Then I add the path of the backup file. That's it. Now I remove the USB stick and insert it again to have the auto run folder executed. Ok, here's the update procedure going on. When the whole update is done, I just have to restart the system. Don't forget to remove the USB stick or start the Colibri in another baseboard, otherwise the update procedure will start again. This shows how easy you can set up your system by using the update tool.